Hi guys, I'm Katie and I'm going to be doing some dance with you today. We are going to be looking at materials and different kinds of materials and then we're going to be making dances up about them. So the first thing we need to do is do a warm up. Why do we warm up? That's right, to get our bodies and our brains ready to do some dance. So let's go, come with me into the space. Here we go. The first thing we're going to do is I'm going to call out some words and you are going to follow me. So if I say go, you're going to go and you're going to jog on the spot really fast. Go. If I say stop, you've got to stop. Go. And stop. And go. And stop. Great. The next one, if I say sit, you have to sit. If I say stand, you have to stand. So sit and stand. Great, next one. If I say freeze, you have to freeze in an interesting shape, anything you like. And if I say fidget, you have to fidget, like you've got ants in your pants. Ooh, ooh. It's like a little bit itchy, ooh, ooh, ooh. all over. Good, can't sit still, stand still. Right, here we go. So I'm going to say, go, stop, sit, stand, freeze, fidget. Good, feeling warmer? I'm now going to mix them all up. Ready? Are you listening? Here we go. Sit, stand, fidget. Stop, go, 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 fidget, freeze, and sit, and stand, and stop. Well done. Okay, are we warming up? Great. Now what we're going to do is do the opposite to what I say. Hmm, so if I say sit, you have to stand. If I say stand, you have to sit. If I say go, you have to stop. If I say stop, you have to exactly go. Okay, if I say freeze, you have to fidget. And if I say fidget, you have to freeze. Okay, in your interesting position. Right, ready, steady. Go. Did you go? Well done. So it's the opposites. And go. And stop. And stand up. And sit down. And stand up. And sit down. And fidget. And freeze. And stop. And go. And go and stand up and freeze and go <sighs> and breathe. Well done. So we're not playing opposites anymore. <laughs> okay, very good. Right, what are we going to do now is we are going to get our honey pot. Did you know you had one? We're going to grab it here, okay? And we are going to put our hands in our honey pot. So can you do that and make your hands really sticky? Okay, put them down, put the honey pot down. Okay, look around your room. Can you stick your hands to something that is red? Something that's red in your room. I found my cushion. Stick your hands to something red. It can be anything you like. Good. Well done. Unstick them. Good. Can you stick your hands to something made of wood? Something made of wood. Ah, now my table here is a funny S shape. This is made of wood. Great. Could be anything. Okay, get your honey pot. Okay, can you put your feet in now? So we're getting our feet really nice and sticky. Lovely, put your pot down. Good. Right, can you stick your feet to the wall? Stick your feet to the wall. Here we go. Are you there? Good, stick your feet to the wall. Unstick them. One, two, 
Good, can you stick your feet to something soft? What's soft? I'm gonna stick them to my bean bag in the corner, my crunchy bean bags. Can you stick yours to something soft? Well done, I'm sure there's lots and lots of different things. Good, and finally, can you stick one foot to the floor and one foot to the wall? How are we gonna do that? We're gonna try this, one foot to the floor and one foot to the wall. Good, unstick. Well done. Right, what we are going to do is, I'm gonna to talk to you about some materials. So, the first material I want to look at is this pencil here. Now, do you know what this pencil is made of? Can you see, that's right, it's made of wood and through the middle is some lead and that's what we write on, write with. So this is our pencil and it's made of wood. What other things are made of wood? Well, I put my feet on that wooden table back there. That's made of wood. Chairs can be made of wood. What else can be? Have a little think. I'm sure you're coming up with some really good ideas. So I've got my pencil and my table that's made of wood. Actually, my door's made of wood as well. That's a good strong wood, very easy to cut, make it into different shapes and sizes. The second thing we're going to look at is, what is this made of? That's right, this is plastic. Plastic is something we're trying to use less of, but when we do use it, we try and recycle it so it can be made into something else. So this is very good because it holds milk, and we use this because it's very flexible. That means it can change shape and also it's waterproof. So it's, not, it's, it's gonna keep all the liquid inside. It's not gonna come out and it's not gonna make the material wet because it's waterproof. And well, look what happens. If I take the lid off and crush it down and change shape so it gets really crunchy. And then actually if I blow into it, it goes back into its sort of original shape. And we can put the lid back on. So that's really interesting material. Changes shape and can go back to the way it was. The other thing that's plastic is this. This is another sort of container, but it's much thinner. And again, it's very flexible. So it's quite strong if we put it that way. We could put something on top to protect something that's inside, like fruit. But then if we crush it, it goes very weak. So in some ways it's very strong, and in other ways it's very weak. But again, very hard to tear. So quite a strong material in some ways, and not in others. So that's another plastic one. This is an interesting one. What's this? It's a balloon. So this is a balloon and this is made of rubber. And this is a funny material because it can stretch really, 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 really big. And we know it can stretch because we can blow balloons up. So you can blow them up really big. So from that tiny thing, it can go into that size. That's pretty clever. So from a very, very small balloon to a very, very big balloon. So this material rubber is pretty clever. It's very stretchy, very flexible, very bendy. And I've got something else made of rubber here. This is a mat. It's very, very bendy. And this mat I actually use to put my hot saucepans on so it protects the counter under, under, underneath. If I put my hot saucepan on the counter, it would burn and make a mark. But this is rubber, so it protects my counter and takes the heat. It's pretty strong. It doesn't burn very easily. And, uh, and again, very, very flexible. So I think all these materials and these good words, I think we can make into a dance. So let's go back into the space. And what we're gonna do is, we are going to make, um, we're going to do a little dance routine using these ideas of materials. And one of the things we're gonna do is pick out our soaking wet sponges that are in a bucket of water here. So we're gonna pick out these sponges. Sponge is a really interesting material because it absorbs, so it sucks up all that water into the sponges. And when you squeeze the sponges, all the water comes out again. So we're gonna pick up our sponges 
and we're going to give them eight squeezes and squeeze out all that water. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, squeeze eight. Good. Next thing we're going to do, we're going to put on our rain jackets and that can often be made of a very kind of um, light material and the raindrops slip off it, a bit like our plastic water, um, milk bottle and the rain will just slip off it because it's waterproof and that's why we have raincoats. So we've put our raincoat on and we're going to shrug off our raindrops. So we're going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Good. To make sure they're really shrugged off, we're going to bend our knees and shrug our shoulders at the same time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Then we're going to put on our rubber wellies. And wellies are brilliant because they're waterproof as well. And we're going to splash in some puddles. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Fantastic. At the end, we're going to make three shapes that are going to be made of something really, really strong. I think something like metal. So think of a bridge or think of something, maybe even like a window frame. It's made of metal or wood, very strong, solid material. So we're going to go one, any shapes you like. One, two, three. Okay, but I want a low shape. One, a middle shape. Two, and a high shape. Three. It doesn't matter, they can be whatever you want don't have to be the same each time, it doesn't matter. So let's go from the beginning. Pick up your sponges, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Shrug your shoulders. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Bend your knees. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And stamp your feet. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now the three shapes. Really strong, really strong, really strong. Great. Right, should we try that with some music? Let's go. Here we go. Hold your sponges. Well done, how did you get on? Good. If you want to, you can wind that back and do it a few more times, otherwise you can move on with me. So, we're going to make some shapes using our bodies. I think we're going to start with a wooden chair. So, we're going to make ourselves into a wooden chair. You don't have to copy me, you can do whatever you like. I'm kind of just going to sit, actually I'm going to be like that. A very strong wooden chair. So someone could come along and sit to me. I'm very strong, very solid. I'm not moving at all. Good. The next thing we're going to look at is something else made of wood, and that's that long, thin pencil. So I think I'm going to have a very low level, and I'm going to make a very long, thin pencil on the floor. Good. 
you can do whatever you like or you can copy me. The next one is going to be the milk container. So we're going on to plastic. Now this is one of my favourites because we can make a shape and we're going to crunch it and then we're going to bring it back to its original shape. So we're going to go crunch and then we're going to spring back to our original shape. Good. Another plasticky thing is sort of like cling film or that wrap that you put around things to make them fresh. So again, that's a very thin kind of plastic. So we're going to call that plastic wrapping. So you can do any kind of wrapping you like, very twisty shapes. Can you wrap kind of plastic around you? Or can you imagine that you are the plastic and you're wrapping something up in you? That's right. Good. And the very last one we're going to look at is the tyre. And what we're going to do is a tyre, very solid, although it's rubber, and slightly soft, it's still quite a strong, solid piece of rubber. So how could you make a tyre? They're often circular, aren't they? So you could do it with your arms. You could have a tyre on the floor and make a sort of circle with your whole body. You could have a very, very small tyre, just with your hand. Small, small circle. Good. And what was the other thing made of rubber? Do you remember? The balloon. So you could be a very small floppy balloon and then you could inflate into something huge and round, wasn't it? And what happens if someone burst you? You pop and all the air comes out. So we go down. So we start small and then we're going to grow into a really big round balloon. So what you can do is choose any of those three shapes that you liked. They don't have to be the same as mine, or they can be if you want. So you can choose your own, or you can copy me. I'm going to go for my pencil to start with. So I'm going to have my very long, thin wooden pencil. And then I'm going to come up and I'm going to make my milk container shape. And I'm going to crush and then I'm going to come back again to my original shape. And then my final one, I think I'm going to make my round tyre. So it's a really nice round circle with my arms, but really strong, strong tyre. So I've got my pencil. My pencil made of wood. I've got my plastic container, which is plastic so I can crush it and then come back to its original shape. And I've got my rubber tire, which is a little bit flexible, but pretty solid as well. Okay, so we're gonna add those together. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna put a turn in between each shape. And that way we're making more of a dance. Okay, so we're gonna have a transition, which is a turn in between each of those shapes. So we're gonna link them all together. So from my pencil, I'm going to stand up, do a turn into my plastic container, crush and open. I'm going to do another turn this way and make my solid tyre shape. Okay, so that's our dance. What you can do is you can pause this, you can have a little practice if we were in a dance studio we'd probably have five or ten minutes to practice that get used to it if you're with someone else do use them work with them see what you can come up with together if you're on your own like me it doesn't matter you can do a little dance on your own called a solo that's fine and if you want to carry on i'm going to put some music on so we can try it with that okay let's have a go
How did you get on? If you want, you can pause, go back, keep playing the music, and then keep doing your dance. If you finish, that's fine. If you want to, you can find three more materials. And then you can make up your own dance, make it even longer if you like. We can carry this on next time as well. So well done, I think you've done some amazing work today. I wish I could see what you've been doing. So for now, we're gonna finish the session and have a lovely cool down. So what we're gonna do is kneel down. I'm just gonna breathe in. And we're gonna breathe out. Relax the arms down. We're gonna breathe in. And we're gonna breathe out. Good. Can you lean to the side and just stretch your arm over? Good, so we're bending. Maybe like a bendy, like my bendy mat that I put to protect my surfaces. And we're gonna bend the other way. And this is gonna make us more flexible, like rubber. Good, and come back. Can we crunch down like our plastic? And then can we come back to our original shape and then crunch down like plastic? And come back to our original shape. Okay, we are going to start very small and we're going to inflate like a balloon. And as we get bigger and bigger and bigger, more air is going to go inside. So we're going to breathe in and here we go. And then someone's going to come along with a pin and they're going to pop us and we're going to deflate. And we go back to our small little bit of rubber again. Then we're going to try again and get bigger. And then someone comes along with a pin. No! Pop! And once more, bigger, bigger. Someone comes along with a pin and pop! Good. Standing up, rolling your shoulders, putting your hands together, and giving yourselves a clap. Thank you so much for dancing with me today and I hope to see you again very soon.